Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss transmission control protocol and with reference to OSI model, the transmission control protocol is the transport layer protocol. And when using a computer or any electronic gadget which is connected with the internet, we might be using different application programs like email, instant messaging, and video streaming. And that can be communicating with other application programs on remote host. So in that case, transport or the TCP transmission control protocol establishes and maintains a connection between application programs. So for instance, in this case, we are using many application programs like instant messaging or the multiple web pages or some video streaming. The job of TCP is to establish a connection between those application programs. In addition, TCP receives the data, this TCP layer receives the data from this session layer, from the session layer to transport layer, and this TCP uh, actually segments that data into some parts and adds header on top of each segment like this. So this is the data and the TCP will add header on top of that and we call it as a segment. So transport layer, the, the, the transport layer's job is that, that before actual transmission of the segment, TCP needs to establish a connection between the nodes. So in this case, for example, this, these are two nodes, computer, two computers, this computer and this computer, TCP needs to establish this, con con this connection before the actual transmission of the data packets. And to do this, to, to establish the connection, TCP uses a method that is called three-way handshake. So before discussing the uh, three-way handshake process in details, let's briefly discuss the header part of the TCP uh, segment. So you see, this is the TCP segment. Let's discuss this part of uh, the TCP segment. So in this TCP segment, we have many uh, important fields, but for our discussion, these two fields, the sequence number and the SYN sync field and the ACK called acknowledgement fields are important. So these in TCP segment header, there are six, the one, two, three, four, five, six, one bit fields, which are used to manage the connection between the nodes. In two nodes, there's a connection to manage the connection. These six one bit fields are important, and these fields are also known as flags. Now, let's move to the specific topic of three way handshake. So, in three way handshake, this, this is a method which requires three steps so one step, second, and the third. In the very first step, the client, for example, in this case, this is our client, and this is the server machine to which we want to communicate or to which we want to send our data. So in the first step, client sends a segment, and that segment has a sequence number. That's called initial sequence number. And in that segment, this field, the sync field is set. It means the value of, in value of SYN sync field is set to one, and then it, it has the initial sequence number and it is sent from the client node to the server node like this. And then the server machine after receiving the segment with this initial sequence number from the client, so the server responds by sending an acknowledgement. So the acknowledgement field and the sequence number field. So in the acknowledgement field, there will be value of one and that is calculated by adding one to the sequence number which was sent by the client node. So the client sent initially the sequence number that was zero and the server machine added one into that and then it, it becomes one and this one value is sent as an, as an acknowledgement 
to the client back. In addition to that, server also generates a sequence number for its own use as well. So this information goes, or this segment goes to the client node. And in the third step, the last step, the client sends uh, uh, an acknowledgement value, and that acknowledgement value will have a value which is equivalent to the sequence number sent by the server, that was zero. So sequence number sent by the server plus one, that will be the acknowledgement value, and this acknowledgement value will be sent back to the server machine. And this completes the three steps of three-way handshake. Once these three steps are done, are, are complete, then a connection will be established between the client and the server. So this the client and the server, the connection has been established. So this, this can be any nodes. And after the establishment of the connection, they can send the actual data by using this connection. So this was a brief overview of three-way handshake. You guys, I hope that you got some idea and thank you for your time.